India's natural vegetation is very diverse. There are actually five major types of vegetation found in India. Now, in our previous lesson, we already discussed about two major types that is the tropical rainforest and deciduous forest. In this lesson, we shall be focusing on two other types of vegetation that is the mangrove forest and the thorn forest. The video links of all the lessons from this chapter are provided in the description for your reference. So, let us begin today's lesson. Let us watch an interesting video of a forest located along the coast of Bay of Bengal. Yes, it is the Sundarbans. This forest has cropped up in the heart of the world's largest delta, that is the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta. Now, if you want to explore this forest, then the best way is to take a boat ride and unleash the pure beauty of nature. Now, unlike other forests here, the trees stand on wet marshy ground which adds uniqueness to this place. Now apart from such unique trees, Sundarbans is also blessed with a rich variety of wildlife consisting of tigers, crocodiles, monkeys, a wide variety of birds etc. This Sundarbans or this type of forest forms an important part of India's natural vegetation. Let's see its location. Well, the type of natural vegetation that is found along the coast of Bay of Bengal is known as the mangrove forest. Specifically, this forest is found in the deltaic regions of many rivers that is Ganga Brahmaputra, Mahanadi, Godavari, Krishna and Kaveri. So, we can find that mangrove forests are found in the deltaic regions of many rivers. Now, among all these, the mangrove forest of the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta is the largest and the most prominent one. Well, the large mangrove forest that is found in the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta region is known as Sundarbans. The video that we watched at the beginning of this lesson was on Sundarbans and this place was extremely beautiful, isn't it? The region has been named after Sundari tree that is abundantly found in this forest. The pictures of the trees that we can see here are Sundari trees that is found in Sundarban region. Now, this Sundari tree is an example of a mangrove tree. Unlike other ordinary trees, the mangrove trees are very special and they have some unique features. Let us know about them. Well, mangroves are only found in coastal or deltaic regions. Now, in these places, we do daily occurrence of tides that is rise and fall of water level is very common. Since mangroves are only found in the coastal regions where tides are very common, therefore they are also known as tidal forests because they grow in tidal areas. Now, we already discussed about few factors that help in the development of various types of vegetation. Well, the factor that helps in the development of a mangrove forest or the factor that defines or influences a mangrove forest is the soil which remains wet and marshy. Now, you must be wondering how these trees can survive in such damp, moist soil where daily occurrence of tides are very common and the regions are constantly attacked by tidal waves. So, let us find out the secret. Well, mangroves are characterized by special roots. In fact, they have dense tangle of prop roots. See, these are prop roots and because they have these prop roots, so these trees appear to be standing on stilts. These dense tangle of roots hold on to the soil very firmly and enable the tree to face daily change in water level due to tides. 
So, this dense tangle of prop ropes enable the mangroves to survive in such coastal regions. Also, another unique feature of the mangroves is that they have breathing roots. Now, we know that the soil in these regions always remains swampy and moist. So, breathing roots which are respiratory roots come out of the soil in order to absorb oxygen from air. Thus, these breathing roots enable the trees to breathe. So, in presence of prop roots and breathing roots, mangroves can easily survive in coastal regions. So, this is how these adaptive features help a mangrove to thrive in coastal or deltaic regions. So now let us quickly summarize the important characteristic of the mangrove or tidal forest of India. Well, this type of vegetation as mentioned previously is found in the deltas or coastal regions of Ganga, Brahmaputra, Mahanadi, Krishna, Godavari and Kaveri. See, if you refer to this map, then you can find that the regions marked in pink color shows the existence of mangrove or tidal forest of India. And we can see here that such type of vegetation is only found in the deltaic regions. Now, this type of vegetation is rich in mangrove trees. And mangrove trees, as we know, have special features, especially they have special root system that is prop roots and breathing roots that enable such trees to survive in coastal and deltaic regions where daily occurrence of tides are very common. So, these type of vegetation or this type of trees grow in tidal areas and therefore such type of forests are also known as tidal forest. Now, Sundari tree is an important tree that is abundantly found in the Sundarbans. Yes, Sundarbans as we know is the name of the mangrove forest that is found in the Ganga Brahmaputra Delta region which is the largest mangrove forest of India. So, Sundari tree is an important tree of the mangrove forest found in India. So, mangrove forest or tidal forest is a type of vegetation that is found in the west, moist, coastal or deltaic regions where water is found in abundance. Now, let us check the type of vegetation that exists in dry region where there is insufficient amount of water. We know an important dry desert of India is the Thar Desert. Now, if you walk across this desert or ride on a camelback, you will find vast stretches of sand and sand dunes. This place is extremely hot and dry. Mostly, one can find thorny bushes, scrubs and scattered trees instead of tall, dark, dense trees. So now let us explore the type of vegetation that is found in this region and where exactly it exists in India. Well, the type of vegetation that exists in the dry regions of the Thar Desert is known as the tropical thorn forest. In case of India, this type of vegetation as we can see in this map exists in the northwestern and western part of the country especially in the states of Punjab. It covers a maximum portion of Rajasthan and Gujarat. This type of vegetation also exists in the interior parts of peninsular India. So, by studying these maps, we can conclude that tropical thorn forest is found in hot and dry regions as in case of a desert. Now, the two important factors that determine or influence such type of vegetation is climate and soil. This is to say that the hot and dry climate of a desert and 
the soil that is sandy and infertile defines the type of vegetation that is found in a desert and the type of vegetation that exists in hot dry regions as in case of a desert is the tropical thorn forest. So, before proceeding with our lesson, let us try to answer this objective. It says thorn forests are found in dash regions and the options given are coastal, warm and wet, hilly or hot and dry. Well, we just discussed that thorn forests are found in, yes, hot and dry regions. They are neither found in coastal regions, nor warm and wet regions, nor hilly regions. So, the correct option is hot and dry regions as in case of a desert. So, thorn forests are found in hot and dry regions. So, the correct option will be hot and dry. As seen in the video previously, tropical thorn forest lacks proper vegetation. In fact, the vegetation is very minimum and it mostly consists of thorny bushes, scrubs, etc. Now, these types of plants that are found in hot and dry deserts are known as xerophytic plants. Now, the term xerophyte can be broken into two parts where zero means dry and phyte means plant. So, xerophytic plant simply means a plant that can survive in hot and dry climate. So, the special types of plants that are found in deserts are known as xerophytic plants. Now, you must be inquisitive to know how these plants can survive in such extremely hot and dry climate which lacks proper water. This is because life without water is actually impossible. Then how can these plants survive in such difficult conditions? Let us find out. Since water is scarce in deserts, therefore these xerophytic plants look for ways in which they can conserve water. So now let us discuss about some of the important adaptive features of xerophytic plants. The first adaptive feature is that in case of xerophytic plants, the leaves are reduced to thorns. So, as you can see in this picture, xerophytic plants have no leaves, rather their leaves are reduced to thorns. This prevents loss of water through transpiration which is carried on by leaves. So, since they do not have any leaves, so they reduce the chance of losing water through transpiration. The next important feature of such plants is that they have thick fleshy stem with waxy coating. See, these plants have thick green fleshy stem and this fleshy stems enable them to store water. Also, xerophytic plants have long roots that penetrate deep into the soil in order to absorb water. Since we know water is barely available in desert, therefore these long roots enable the plant to survive by tapping deep into the soil and sucking water from there. So, these are some of the adaptive features of xerophytic plants which enable them to survive in the harsh climatic conditions of a desert and these features are their leaves are reduced to thorns. So, they have thorns instead of leaves. Secondly, they have thick fleshy stem that absorbs water and they have long penetrating roots. So, now that we have understood the characteristics of xerophytic plants, let us discuss some of the examples of such plants. Some of the important plants that are found in desert are cactus, prickly pear, acacia and date palm. Well, the gum that you usually use in your art and craft classes comes from acacia tree. 
So, acacia tree provides us with an useful product that is gum. And these are some of the important trees of desert or tropical thorn forest. So, let us have a quick look at the important characteristics of tropical thorn forest. This type of vegetation as we discussed previously exists in the dry regions of western part of India that is this region and also in the interior parts or arid regions of peninsular plateau. Such vegetation consists of xerophytic plants, plants that can survive in extremely dry harsh climatic conditions as in case of a desert. Now, xerophytic plants have some important adaptive features that enable them to survive in the harsh climatic conditions of a desert and these features are they have thorns instead of leaves, they have fleshy green stems and they have long roots. So, these features provide assistance to the plants and enable them to survive in a desert. The important trees of tropical rainforest are thorny bushes, prickly pear, cactus, acacia, etc. So, this brings us to the end of today's discussion on two types of vegetation found in India. They are mangrove forest and tropical thorn forest. The mangrove forest exists in the coastal or deltaic regions. Among all these mangrove forests, the mangrove forest of Ganga Brahmaputra Delta region is the largest and the most prominent one. And secondly, we discuss about the tropical thorn forest which exists in the dry regions of western and northwestern India and in the interior parts of peninsular plateau. In our previous lesson, if you remember, we discussed about the two other types of vegetation that is the tropical evergreen forest and tropical deciduous forest. Tropical evergreen forests are found in the warm and wet regions of the northeastern part of India and the western coastal plains and also in the islands of Lakshwadweep and Andaman and Nicobar. Now, coming to tropical deciduous forest. Tropical deciduous forest covers a major portion of India. It is found at the foothills of the Himalayas, an entire portion of the northern plains and also in the peninsular plateau region. In our next lesson, we shall be discussing about the last remaining type of vegetation that is the mountain forest. Don't forget to subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon. You can also register for free at deltastep.com or download the Delta Step app to learn one to one with our amazing teachers or to get access to our 5000 amazing videos as per your school syllabus. Master each topic with our adaptive practice technology. Get million plus questions with step by step solutions and unlimited mock tests. Get all your doubt resolved instantly. Learn via games and win amazing prizes like playstations and iPads. So at Delta Step, learning is not just fun and easy, but it's rewarding too. So register for free now.